Yo, what's up, guys? I just got done watching the Bulls comeback win over the Memphis Grizzlies. In today's video, I'm going to be recapping that game. Also talking about Billy Donovan's recent adjustments. Also talking about Bill Simmons calling the Bulls the most dangerous play-in team. And talking about some injury updates later in today's video. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video obviously about yesterday's comeback win and all the topics and updates i'm about to jump into also just a quick little update sorry for the lack of videos for the past week or so i was in vegas and i got engaged also thank you to the few comments that i did get on my community tab where i gave an update on that but nonetheless let's just jump right into today's video because i'd say that first half was probably one of the worst first halves of this season and then the second half of the grizzlies game was probably one of the best halves of of the Chicago Bulls season and I do feel like I have said that a few times this season and that's just exactly how this team and season has been this whole season so up and down who knows what team we're gonna get quarter by quarter and the Bulls were once trailing by 23 points and they then played an amazing second half to storm back for a big win over the Grizzlies and that whole game was just wild the Chicago Bulls only had three turnovers Zach Levine once again had 36 points Zach Levine has been playing amazing amazing basketball since the all-star break and the Chicago Bulls are now 38 and 40 and there's still I'd say a little hope of a run down of the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference for the Chicago Bulls and other than Zach Levine having 36 points he also had nine assists DeMar had 31 and seven Kobe White also had a big game off the bench and this is now the 20th time this NBA season that Zach and DeMar have scored 30 plus points or more in the same game and Zach and DeMar are now the first duo that has done that in Bulls franchise history and if this Bulls team could just ever figure it out and always play the way that they played in the second half of this team this Bulls team could be really good and really deadly in the playoffs or play-in tournament and also huge shout out to Casey Johnson for putting this tweet out over the past five games the Bulls have scored 144 points off turnovers and that is just insane that second half was just incredible it was very impressive I just wish the Bulls could always be that consistent and always play that kind of basketball i mean they were down by 23 in the first half and then they were up by as much as 21 in the second half it was just a crazy game to watch definitely leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about yesterday's comeback win over the grizzlies and speaking of how the bulls did come out after halftime billy donovan was talking post game and he made it sound like patrick beverly spoke to the team at halftime and billy donovan did say patrick beverly told the bulls team at halftime that you have to embrace adversity and i love to hear that i mean obviously when the bulls brought in pat bev you know he was going to do this and since the all-star break this bulls team has looked like a complete different team and it's great to see it is kind of a concern that it took pat bev to get this spark and energy going but at the end of the day i love the signing i'm happy that this bulls team is finally playing the basketball that they should be playing and i also want to give a big shout out to billy donovan i know billy donovan has gotten a lot of hate for the past season or two but let's give billy donovan also some flowers hours and since the all-star break billy donovan has been a much better coach in my eyes just making much better rotations and adjustments in my eyes just like yesterday versus the memphis grizzlies he did opt to go for Derek jones jr over drummond in the third quarter and the bulls then went on a 15-0 run now i don't want to give you know all that on Derek jones jr but the bulls going very small out of nowhere definitely threw a curveball for the memphis grizzlies the bulls were flying all around and dominating the fast break that was a great mid-game adjustment from Billy Donovan and I know Billy Donovan gets a lot of hate from Bulls fans and I do understand that but let's be real Billy Donovan is not a perfect NBA coach not many NBA coaches are perfect but let's not act like Billy Donovan is some bum you know he's one of, he's still one of the best coaches in the NBA and DeMar DeRozan also did say the other day that Billy Donovan is one of his favorite coaches he has ever had and he did say man you know what's crazy he's definitely underrated underappreciated on the outside also so, and I do agree with DeMar DeRozan. Like I just did say, Billy Donovan may not be one of the best coaches in the league, but he's still a pretty damn good coach in my eyes. And he's also really friendly with the locker room and players. And that's especially a big deal nowadays in a star-driven league. 
And the next topic in today's video is about this article that came out from Yard Barker. And Bill Simmons did call the Chicago Bulls the most dangerous play in team. And I do agree with that 100%. Bill Simmons did say that he is afraid of the Chicago Bulls. And in his recent episode of his podcast, he did say they feel like the most untense CD team possible. And I do agree, especially with how this Bulls team has been playing since the All-Star break. And also given how the Bulls have played as of late, Bill Simmons who pushed for the Bulls to blow up this team and tank back in November. He could be onto something. And after all, since the All-Star break, the Bulls currently have the fifth best winning percentage in the NBA. And as Bill Simmons puts it, they have some real guys in DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine to lean on during the stretch of games and especially just playoff games and at the end of the games. And he did say, I fear those two guys together the most because at the end of games, they're going to get good shots if they're invested enough. And I do agree. I mean, I Obviously, the Bulls still have four games left, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this Bulls team does play to end this season and also where they do end up in the Eastern Conference standings. In my eyes, the Bulls are more than likely a lock to be in the play-in tournament. Now, obviously, there's still a slight chance that the Bulls could get the eighth or ninth seed, but the Bulls have some very important games coming up. So definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about Bill Simmons calling the Bulls the most dangerous play-in team. And the final topic in today's video is just some quick little injury updates and the Bulls play in odds. And Billy Donovan did give an update on Caruso and Javante Green before the Memphis Grizzlies game. And he did say Caruso and Green are good to go today. And the Bulls will watch Caruso's foot health and determine his availability for back-to-backs Tuesday and Wednesday. The Bulls also won't make a predetermined decision on stating him Tuesday or Wednesday, and that's good to see. Even though, you know, his foot has been bothering him for a while now, the Bulls need Alex Caruso to play, even if it's only 20 minutes a night, especially with how many games are left and how important these games are for the Chicago Bulls. And also just a quick little update on the whole play-in tournament odds and everything like that. Just yesterday, the Hawks did beat the Mavs and the Raptors also won yesterday, meaning the Bulls remain a game behind both teams. And that just makes the Bulls versus Hawks game on Tuesday even bigger than it already has been. That's going to be a huge game. Hopefully the Bulls come out how they did come out in the second half of the Grizzlies the game and they don't mess around and they win that game because that game is a huge game going forward. All right, guys, so definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about those recent injury updates and the Bulls whole play in odds and playoffs odds and everything like that. Also, leave some comments and questions below today's video about the Bulls huge comeback win yesterday versus the Grizzlies. I'm going to be really interested in the comments that you guys leave. I'm going to try to respond to most. Also, once again, thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos. I really do appreciate it. Also, thank you to the few that did congratulate me on my engagement. I really do appreciate that. I had a good week or so, or just I'd say a long weekend in Vegas. But no matter what, I'm back on the grind. I'm going to be posting every other day for every Bulls game. Game. giving you guys daily bulls recaps and talking about obviously all the news rumors and updates and this off season i'm going to be going really hard trying to post daily or at least every other day but nonetheless thank you guys again for all the love and everything you guys do for me i really do appreciate it i love making videos for you guys so thank you guys i don't know what i'd do without you guys and if i didn't make videos but nonetheless thank you guys for watching today's video i really do appreciate it have a good one